Yo, what is good YouTube? What's up PlayStation Nation? Jay Bari here and I'm back with another video here to talk about the state of play that just happened from PlayStation. And ooh wee, it was a goodie. Shout out to PlayStation man for respecting gamers and gamers. You know what I mean? With this beautiful and wonderful state of play that just happened. Them focusing on Japanese and third party, uh, you know, developers with a nice little surprise at the end uh, of State of Play. So I'm gonna be giving my review, my overall thoughts on everything being shown at this State of Play uh, event and why I loved it so much. Uh, and let's get into that, man. Let's let's, 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 let's let's go into it, right? The reason why I'm loving this State of Play so much and I'm giving it, spoilers, heads up, I'm giving this show a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10 because I'm loving it so much right the reason why i'm loving it so much is that they yeah they didn't have 20 games being showcased they didn't have 30 games being showcased they had 10 games being showcased and they looked amazing well majority of them looked amazing so let's talk about the ones to me that didn't really you know uh you know uh, tickle my fancies here um at this showcase and it was it was really one game to be honest with you um that didn't really you know push me like all right this looks good and that was that pacific drive uh i thought the game it looked it didn't look appealing to me you know maybe look appealing to somebody else but in my opinion this is probably the weakest showing um that they had there uh in the game the other one uh, in, in the state of play the other one that i was a little bit questioning but then i was like you know what it's been a while since i played like a tabletop rpg game and that uh demio game in vr it looks all right I'm not too sold on it yet, but it looks all right where I'm just like, okay, PlayStation VR, new game. Maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe this is fun because it's been a while since I played like a, a like since I've been a kid, you know what I mean? Like a tabletop, you know, Dungeons and Dragon type, you know, RPG back when we was nerding out, you know what I mean? Using our imagination uh, <laughs> to play these type of games. So those to me was like the two weakest um, games being showcased there. Hogwarts Legacy is a game that, you know, looks really, really good. Um, I was kind of surprised that sh that game actually being there at the showcase because how much they are showing the game now You already had a dedicated PlayStation, uh, you know, uh, state of play It was showcased that other, you know, showcases with trailers um, You know new tra PlayStation trailer, you know announcing the whole exclusive, you know um, I guess episode or DLC for PlayStation and the collector's edition like, it's, a, it's a lot of Hogwarts information coming by and I understand because this is gonna be a big game uh, for PlayStation, but you know, what I mean, I was just a little bit more shocked. It's like, oh, okay, you know, what I mean, Hogwarts Legacy, it's already done deals, already sold. I wanted to see something a little bit more new, um, being at this, you know, state of play. But everything else was heat, you know, what I mean, the Star Wars, uh, Tales from the Galaxy Edge Enhanced Edition that looks great. VR2, uh, 2023, can't wait to play that. I'm a huge Star Wars nut, I love Star Wars a lot, and yeah, I'm in there. Uh, Sin Duality. At first, when I was looking at the game, I was like, oh man, it's gonna be one of those type of building up farming type games. But then I start seeing the game a little bit more and more. I'm like, wait, it's co-op in here? A lot of action going on? This looks amazing. And it got that nice Japanese aesthetic as well. I'm like, this looks amazing, man. Can't wait to play this. Bandai Namco with the, with the uh, Sin Duality. That looks really, really dope. Can't wait to play that. Then they showcased uh, uh, Yakuza uh, Ishin. Yakuza Ishin is like was only in Japan. It was a Yakuza game only in Japan, where it goes to like the feudal Japan era um, in the, in the, for for the Yakuza series. And I played the demo to that game, the Japanese version of the demo with my Japanese account. I didn't go and buy the full game because yeah, this is a full Japanese game. I'm not understanding what's going on, but I definitely played the demo. I was like, yo, this is a cool game. You know what I mean? Something a little bit different. Uh, for the Yakuza franchise and it, it, it it's it's dope now it's finally getting um, a North American or Eastern release and yeah can't wait to play that that's coming out in February uh, let's start let's start with how they they opened up the showcase uh, with Tekken 8 you know finally confirming that yes this is Tekken 8 you know we got a teaser um, of Tekken um, I think it was at Evo um, you know where they got a nice little eight second <laughs> <laughs> kind of trailer out there with Evo, but now we got a full-fledged uh, gameplay 
trailer showing Jin and, and Kazuya uh, fighting each other uh, for Tekken 8 and it looks amazing by far probably the best looking fighting game you know today from what I'm seeing and it's gonna be next gen only which is amazing I wish Street Fighter 6 was next gen only as well so shout out to you know Bandai Nemco shout out to um, Harada you know pushing that next gen uh, envelope man with this with Tekken 8 this is gonna be a banger man uh, with Tekken 8 so I can't wait to get into that and see more of Tekken 8 um the next game that was showcased well not next game. we're not going to go in order we're just going to you know let's talk about the stuff that they, you know they were showcasing here but another game that got me super super excited was uh stellar blade so this is formerly known as project eve they got a new story trailer that the music sounds amazing uh everything about this trailer this is just amazing man can't wait to play this 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 game man eve this character looks dope all the other side characters look dope as well that's you know going along with her journey and i can't wait to dive in and get more of this game 2023 coming to playstation 5 and it's playstation published as well it was under the whole sie banner uh for this game another game that was under the sie banner was uh rise of ronin new action rpg from team ninja under the sie playstation banner i guess playstation is going to be publishing it and uh you know if, if these those both games are playstation 5 console exclusive so they're only coming to playstation 5 so we got some a future glimpse of what playstation is going to be delivering uh for the playstation 5 and this is something that i wanted you know what i mean i wanted playstation you know to have you know some japanese games being you know showcased and you know focus on some japanese games because that's the lifeblood of playstation and showcase some stuff for the future of playstation 5 this is not first party by the way but it's still playstation 5 console exclusives and something still under you know the playstation umbrella of you know sony entertainment um sony interactive entertainment so yeah rise of the ronin tekken 8 uh yakuza ishin uh, Star Wars, Tales of the Galaxy, um, Sin Duality, uh, Stellar Blade, Hogwarts Legacy, Pacific Drive, Demio, and then they closed off the show, guys. They closed off the show with God of War Ragnarok. New trailer, new accessory being showcased. First, they started out showing a DualSense controller uh, for the game. And that controller is by far the best looking dual since I've seen because I like that that PlayStation Blue and that dual that dual toned you know uh, dual sense there. Um, so yeah, the controller looked dope. It, it has I think both Skull and, uh, and and Hati or Haiti, however you want to pronounce it, on on the on the, the touchpad area of the controller. It looks amazing. Also, um, new trailer being showcased where they have a new trailer. Um, and they showed a lot here showing you know the the conflicts or the dynamic between Kratos and Atreus teasing Odin showcasing a battle with Thor Skull and Haiti Hati also being there uh, uh, what, um, Freya being upset Valkyries yo the trailer just looked freaking amazing man I'm just like yo what is going on not what is going on I, I, i'm following the trailer a little bit a little bit teasery but yo it was amazing this is definitely on everybody's anticipated list when it when it when it when it comes to games of 2022 man god of war ragnarok and i'm super super excited for this very this was a surprise i kind of kind of was leaning towards it being showcased if you guys watch uh personas um live reaction and i was kind of edging it over I was like yo you know yeah yeah you have some good points here why would they retweet this state of play if it's supposed to be quote unquote focused on japanese games boom right there god of war ragnarok accessory controller being showcased and dope ass trailer man what a what a dope ass trailer but yeah overall i'm giving this state of play a nine nine point five out of ten because I do feel that, you know, it has some, you know, two games that I'm, I'm okay, all right. But everything else was a straight heat, man. And I'm super, super excited as a PlayStation fan, uh, as a, you know, a gamer that loves Japanese games, seeing what's coming out of Japanese uh, development uh, and what's coming to PlayStation in the future. 
this was great man i'm very very happy of what being showcased man um and then now all we got to really see is what's being showcased from you know first party you know what i mean but overall i thought this was a really really strong show um 10 games being showed 20 something minutes and look at the impact that's being on twitter on youtube and everything crazy crazy impact man but yeah god of war stole it for me uh tekken 8 stole it for me that rise of the ronin that junk look heat and i gotta say that that uh that stellar blade that that music i need to i, I need to download that music. <laughs> that music is just heat yo it's just straight heat man but yo let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on um state of play and also i will be doing a breakdown for stella blade trailer god of war trailer um tekken we're gonna see with tekken you know what i mean like tekken i've been off and on on tekken I haven't been really focusing on Tekken on 7 like that, you know, when a new character come out that, you know, I, I main, you know what I mean, I play it here and there, but I definitely want to, you know, talk about Tekken as well, man, but yeah, definitely going to be a breakdown trailer or a breakdown video from me when it comes to Stellar Blade and God of War for sure. But yeah, but let me know your thoughts. What was your thoughts on State of Play? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you think it was great? Did you think it was mid? Let me know in the comment section below. And definitely don't miss What's Up PlayStation Podcast this Saturday because we got a lot of heat to talk about this week, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It, 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 it's going to be good. It's going to be good this week. Trust me, man. Trust me. But, yeah, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Oh, there was, there was a lot of cool stuff. Okay, because Nintendo as well was showcasing some cool games that's coming to PlayStation. But we'll talk about that in, like, a Speak from the Heart um, because we, we bring back Speak from the Heart. Uh, this week, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoy it, hit the like button. If you enjoy it even more, subscribe. It's your boy Jay Barry, and I'm gone. Deuces.